the big gooch here. So uh recently did um the Honda Airbox mod on my EP3 uh, and as you can see standard airbox um I've already done it I didn't video myself doing it like but I figured it'd be a good idea just to uh own it up and show you what I've done. Can't remember what size it is. As you can see, I don't keep my sockets in a nice tidy order. Well, I usually keep them in a nice tidy order, just not today. Just undoing all these little side bolts on the side. You don't have to take your air blocks uh, completely out. One, two, three, four bolts. Sweet. Uh, what's next job? Undo this little fella. Can't remember what size that is. Just got my breather pipe to take off. And those of you that will have worked on one of these uh, air boxes before knows, well, you should know that the plastic's very brittle. Incredibly brittle. And I unfortunately had mine snap on me. Where the breather goes into the airbox. So I used a pink grip overnight. That's set nice and rock hard. And then I put some silicon over it as well. And it seems to be fine. that out there we go so yeah air comes in uh, previously all this were completely contained like a little tube that came in here and they were a big plastic piece that went along there blocking all Air from circulating properly. Um, I'll put a link in the description below so you can actually look for yourself, do a bit of research. But it comes in now, so in there, I give this bit uh, two fingers in, give this a sanding. It's all smooth, I know it don't look pretty, but all these fan uh, fins, sorry, have gone. And yeah, uh, it's meant to slow the air, air down, even spread of air across the filter. Um, yeah, that's basically it. sits on there obviously if you are going to do it just make sure you've got all your little bits of plastic out of your air box before putting your filter back in last thing you want is a, a chunk of black plastic going down there into your into your throttle body so i'm going to bob it back together and we'll go for a little drive by the way we're an eight mil these four From what I hear, it's meant to let the car breathe a little bit better. Standard under airbox is very good air to start with, anyhow. When I bought it, it had one of them cheap eBay special induction kits on anyway, with some fucking ridiculous stainless steel so called heat shield. Didn't act like an heat shield though, I don't know what it fucking did. Honestly, it were horrible. 